Welcome back, heroes, to more Quest for Glory. Let's, uh, well, let's get another water skin here. This guy here sells them. The finest in other work will I sell to you, hero from distant land. My leather is noted to, over the world for its beauty and durability. Here you go, Effende. Come again. Two half full water skins. You are so cool. It is good for Simba to watch us practice. He will need to learn soon enough. I will squash you, bitch. Rakish. Hero. The rumors from Rasir are the laws have become more important than men, and that it has become a crime to think. Few go to that city now, and even fewer return. The desert is dangerous to the unwary. This is a fine kingdom, and its ruler is very wise, but there are all signs of dark magic seeking to overwhelm Shapir. The place is very much a home for me. When I was younger, I did much adventuring and exploring. That was, of course, before my leg was injured. I do not travel much now. I am here at the Sultan's request. My leg was damaged a long time ago when I tried to fight a demon that was destroying my people. The demon struck me with its poison tail. The bone was shattered, and because of the poison, the leg did not heal correctly, even with magic. The demon was sent by a wizard who sought to overthrow my kingdom. I defeated the demon and eventually the wizard, but I had to give up my rule of the kingdom to my brother. The wizard turned out to be a demon who sought through magical means to break the barriers between this world and ours. It took many years, but I at last managed to send the demon wizard back to his own world. I ruled the kingdom of Tarna until I had to choose between ruling my people or preventing the wizard from doing greater evil. I do not regret the choice I made. My brother became a most wise ruler of Tarna, and I learned what it is to be a paladin. The way of the paladin is to seek and to know what truly is. The paladin strives to learn his own inner nature and that of others. The paladin does whatever needs to be done to bring light to the world. Not for the glory, not for the gain. The paladin becomes a paladin because it is his will. The will is the very essence of your soul. I want to be a paladin. Her place is in the middle of the web of the alleys of the southeast. The fountain which forms the city is indeed magical. It gives life to all that to live around it. Magic surrounds us all in this world, and it is part of us always. Aziza has many more answers than I. Aziza is a very powerful enchantress, wise in the ways of elements. You might visit her house near the Shamili Tarek, if you can win her respect. You named your kid after the Lion King? What the hell is wrong with you? Yahira. My name is Yahira. It means freedom in my people's voice. My people be very far from here. I be Simbani warrior, but Simbani women cannot be wife and warrior. So I be coming to Shapir to find father so I can bear child. Now I have Simba and still remain Simbani warrior. My land and people are many months traveled from here. 
Simba's father be in the Sultan's guard, strong fighter, he be almost better than me. Okay. Always be much going on here, much to talk about, what do you want to know? Maybe they'll be needing new guildmaster here soon, I be thinking. When problems be in Shapir, I be here. When problems be going, I be going. No place for fools, too hot in the day, too many monsters at night, very easy to get lost and never come back from there. Many monsters live in the desert. You be going there. You need to watch for jacklemen and ghouls at night. During day you find brigands, scorpions, and pterosauruses. Always a fucking problem. One jacklemen, not to be all that tough, but the many jacklemen be wearing down even good fighters. Keep rest of the pack off your flank at all cost. Ghouls be bad magic things, or only at night. They eat the dead, but they will not be picky if they get the chance to eat you. They steal your life and use it to cast spells against you. Avoid their spells and kill them quickly while they be weak. Brigands be only moderate fighters, but they can still kill unprepared victims. You be fine as long as you attack and defend better than they do. If you be fighting Scorpion, you must watch the tail. If the tail gets you, then you will be plenty sick, maybe dead, unless you get healing Scorpion. Be not a very smart fighter, though. Dinosaur with many things, claws and teeth. It likes to eat people. Look out when it leaps at you. It can tear you up if you do not dodge. A few weeks ago, one pterosaurus approached city and invade Penn, tried to kill riding sources. Rakish was nearby and helped gate guard slay it. Now head hangs there on wall. Very bad things happened there. Maybe they start to happen here. I be hoping not. I be strong fighter, but such things come of bad magic. Bad juju. Hard to fight magic with spear. You sign your name in the book with a flourish. And it looks sexy. The last entry is Luglug, Hero of Spielberg. This is a logo of the internal or Eternal Order of Fighters. There's some text written on the plaque. It's the head of a rare southern moose. You can tell by the hat. The native friend Canyon Shield and two cross spears adorn the part wall above the doorway. The tusk could only have come from a rather large specimen of Hephalumpius Purabinis. The bone quiver on the wall are for times of war. The stuffed head brings back memories of your encounters with those lovable Saurus Rexes in Spielberg. These relatives don't look as bulky, but seem every bit as mean. The plaque reads, Pterosaur slain by Rakish Satana. A standard Guildhall quest board, one of the less unusual things in this room, has an assortment of notices posted. Let's check it out. That would be given to one who restores the Emir Aras al-Din to his rightful place in the palace at Rasir, the sum of 1,000 dinars. By order of Sultan Harun al Rashid. He is willing to brave the desert should seek Harik Atta in his shop at the sign of the mortar in Pastel. By the fountain, that one shall find rewards for his courage. There is need for a spell of great power and whirling part of Dervish. Inquire at the magic shop, keep on laughing prop. Those who do the service of the city and land of Shapir shall know the rewards of goodness by order of the Sultan Harun al Rashid. The way of the paladin to seek, to do, to learn, and then to do. Don't get the order mixed up or you'll not be real paladin. Paladin. Bitch. Can I use my map in here? No.
The sign of the Morda and Pastel usually indicates the entrance to an apothecary. I have a subscriber named Keep On Laughing. I'm pretty sure I know where he got his name from now. I knew it seemed familiar. I didn't want to save there as the fighter guild, but whatever. The druggist seems to keep busy at his trade. Ah, I did not notice you coming. This is the apothecary where one can buy many wondrous pills and oils. I am Harik. If you need something, just let me know. Well, I don't know. What do you got? Holy shit. Healing pills. Yeah, I want some healing pills. Thank you for your patronage. There'll be a special money back guarantee with every pill I sell. If you die because of pill, I gladly leave on money. Yeah, sounds like a good deal. Stop staring at me, I. Narak Sarido Lawi, come in. Gasundai, tip canoe, and how do you do? Pleased to meet you, and I mean please to please to you. Welcome to me, little shop of wonders. Wonder what shop it is? It's magic, of course. I am keep on laughing. Proprietor, you must be no beer cause. Proud to know you, Mr. Cause. Shabir always hopes for heroes. Yep, this guy's a fucktard. Keep on laughing is my name. Ask me again, I'll tell you the same. If you choose to snooze, you lose, Zeus. So don't be accused of dulling your fuse from abuse. Just get with the news. Don't quote me, but Aziza has a waterbed and fiddles with fish. Shapir's a city, small and quaint and pretty. Shapir is a land, large and great and grand. Auntie Azizi lives off the east end of Shamali Tariq. Mind your P's and Q's when you are there, or she might send you to you know where. There was a money changer, and her name was Dinazard. It understood that she was good and very, very bad. You can find her at the end of Diner Tariq, my lad. The Katas trail into the Katas tail in. He says cattily as he goes from the feline. To the ridiculous. Perfect persons. It's Sandman, Hot Scott, Dry Guy. Griffin, Jackal, Pterosaur School. Learn their wares in the adventurous school. Brigand, Jin, Scorpion, all. Ask for info at the Guild Hall. Razir, I fear, is very queer, and if you do not interfere, I think that it will disappear. Can I punch this guy in the face already? If you need to know some knowledge about the magic way, then go to see Aziza, who will enchant you if you stay. Watch out, she's testy though. So long, farewell, oaf, we the same. Goodbye, see you real soon. FND Cos, I like you. Wow, 
That guy's a character. Let's save my game so I don't ever have to talk to him again. I think you have to find locations before you can uh, warp to them. The more esoteric ones, I should say. But I like wandering the alleyways anyways. Shamali Tariq. Now we have our map, so if we ever get lost, lost, we can always warp back to some place familiar and try again. Some of these streets seem to go on and on, forever and ever. Amen. They did a good job of the different decorations, the decor, and the, it's, it's, it gives it a Good feel of independence and what, where are we? Right, another door that seems to be watching me. We can knock on the door, open the door, listen at the door, or kick the fucking door in. We'll knock. You politely knock on the door. Who is it that seeks to enter? It's Lug Lug, the one and only, baby. Who is it that sent you here? Uh, Rakish did, the giant lion guy with the broke dick. Who injured the leg of Rakish? A demon. My first is first, my second the last. Next comes myself, then back to the end, and beginning again. Who am I? Aziza, right? You may enter freely into my home, Lug Lug. Hello! Come in, sit, and we shall speak. Oh, you had one of those voice thingies, yeah. The table feels cool to the touch. Standing in its vicinity provides a refreshing relief from the harsh climate outside. Shall we share tea? So yes to tea. Interesting. <laughs> Ooh, 
Whoops. Pissed her off. Game over. Which is why we reload. And save often. How about keep on laughing? The element most appropriate to the owner of the shop. Air, obviously, he's floating. Okay, here's how we do it. We can greet and be polite. There's a communication score in this game and you actually gotta keep good communications and say hi and bye and kiss a lot of ass and brown nose in this. Welcome. It is good to have a visitor who understands the proper way to enter a conversation. refreshing. You find yourself relaxing as you drink and listen to the sound of flowing water. Now that we've shared tea, what is it for which you have come? Well, I was just wondering if you, you know, wanted to fuck. My name means highly prized. It was the name of my mother. My magic is very practical. I know many things that go on in this land. Unfortunately, Rassi has been closing to my far scene since Ymir vanished. Soon I will try a different type of spell to see if I can gain more information. The magic I work with is mostly water magic, that of the knowledge and true scene. As water can reflect, I too can reflect spells back upon the caster. There is much magic in this land, some of very dark nature. Magic can be misused for ill purposes. A foe can seem to be a friend, and the victim is helpless against the foe. The more powerful the magic, the more likely it can be used for evil purposes. My spells allow me to see things at a distance and to know their true nature. The city was built around the magic fountain which flows freely. It is protected by the mountains and the desert and has known only peace and prosperity until now. The magical fountain is a symbol for our city. The Kata are a clever people. They work only at things they enjoy. The Sultan Harun al-Rashid is the most wise ruler. He often consults me for information about things. He has a good deal of understanding about the people and he knows how best to use them. He is doing everything in his power to prevent the ill omens from coming to pass. Alright, bitch. No chit chat. Let's get to the biggity biggity bang bang. Kipan's magical abilities are great, but his style is much too childish. Still, if you must purchase his sort of toy magic, the shop is the place to visit. Razir was like a twin to Shapir until a year ago. The Emir Aris was overthrown and disappeared. His brother now sits upon the throne. There is darkness over the city through which I cannot see with all my magic. The Emir Aris was a foolish man who ruled more with his heart than his head. There was magic involved in his disappearance. Since he has been gone, the city of Razir has fallen into dark times and many have fled the new tyranny. When I try to use Farsi upon the city of Rasir, it is as though this city is wrapped in a web of blackness which I cannot see through. 
What? That was very rude. Iblis once sought to rule the world and created a great city in the middle of the desert. But Suleiman bin Daud summoned all the Dijin to rise against Iblis. Iblis was bound in a statue and his mighty city was destroyed to become his tomb. If you seek the Wizards Institute of Te Technorency, you'll need to use the very thing for which you seek it. Magical games are an entertaining way to keep one's magical skills and mind in shape. It has been a pleasure conversing with you. Perhaps we shall set tea again sometime. Okay, I think we got the information we needed from her. Think. See? That decor there. And that decor there in the fruit barrels. It's just all new. And the actual original game was a lot like that as well. They had a lot of different scenes going through the alleyways. They did a great job. Come in! Come in! Hassan, come in! Oh! That is not you, is it? It's hard for me to tell at such a distance. Come in anyway, and welcome. I'm Abu Al-Najun, and I am the astrologer of the stars and omens. Who are you that I might know you? My name is Arnold. Ah, look, look. It is indeed the name for heroes. It is well that you have come then. The signs show that we will need a hero here. Welcome! May the stars smile upon you. I have been stargazing since I was little. There is so much to learn from astrology. Astrology is based on the principle of as above, so below. The heaven, heavens reflect the earth and vice versa. My job is to reveal that the future to those who seek it, perhaps you wish to know your own fortune. If you wish to know your fortune, I will need to know your guiding signs. Tell me about your past and the things you've done. You have lived a most interesting life. I will look into the signs that have guided you life this far and see how they will affect your future. This will take many hours, so you'll need to come back some other day. If you need to know more about the future, visit me again when it arrives. It's an interesting sign over here. Let's see. P plus explosion. No, wait. Plus kaboom. Oh, heck. You never were good at these things anyways. You've heard of faux poster beds, but this is ridiculous. The stars are out of place compared to Spielberg. Where the heck is this place? 
He used to have a magic eight ball that performed much the same function as this dartboard. Alright folks, that wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned for more Quest for Glory 2. Trial by Fire.